Tiki. Uh, count the war! <sighs> kitty, kitty. <clears throat> Marinette Dupan Chang, is everything okay? Yeah, perfect timing, actually. I need a boyfriend. A boyfriend? Oh, no, no, no. I'm done with all that lovey-dovey stuff. I'm not in love with anyone and don't plan on it anytime soon. Then that's perfect. Exactly what I need. See, I have a problem with my boyfriend who's not my boyfriend yet because I can't talk to him about how I feel, so I need someone to play my crush who for sure doesn't have a crush on me and you'd be perfect for the role since there's no way you'd fall for me since you don't love anyone. No one, exactly, and I mean no one. But, uh, I still don't get it. You need me to do what exactly? To play my boyfriend who's not my boyfriend yet, and I'll play the girlfriend, but the girlfriend who does things right, who doesn't mess up everything she says, know what I mean? Uh, not much more than before? Great, let's do this then. You sit there and I'll come in. Dear Cat Noir, ever since I met you, I've had three suns in my heart. They shine so brightly that whenever I see you, they make me melt until the slightest thought is reduced to droplets. Those suns are only three little words, but they're burning my lips. Please soothe me, Cat Noir, and tell me that you love me as much as I uh, love you. Marinette, sorry, I'm really flattered, but like I told you, I'm not in love with anyone. Of course, I'm not talking to you. This is for the boyfriend who's not really my boyfriend yet. Ah, got it. But since you said Cat Noir, I thought you were actually talking to me. Oh, right. Shoot. Well, what's your boyfriend's name? Uh, that's private. Uh, that's not gonna make things any easier. Okay, Buttercup. <laughs> his name is Buttercup? Of course that's not his real name. It's a code name. Come on, start <gasps> over. Dear Buttercup, ever since I met you, I've had three sons and I'm... <laughs> Come on, would you please concentrate? This is serious. Sorry, it's the Buttercup name. <clears throat> Dear Buttercup, ever since I met you, I've had three sons in my heart. They shine so brightly that what... What's with the face? Are you hurting or something? Uh, I'm being serious. Oh, well, okay, that's not being helpful at all. Be serious, but not serious like you're trying to solve a math problem. <laughs> Dear Buttercup, ever since I met you, I've had three sons in my... I'm sorry, Marinette, but what face am I supposed to make then? Who cares? I don't know. You're the one who was saying... I know! It doesn't matter how you feel right now. I'm the one training here. Just act like you're a little interested in me. It's good to be interested in other people now and then, you know? Always me, me, me. Let's start over. Dear Buttercup, ever since I met you, I've had three sons in my heart. They shine so brightly that whenever I see you, they... Whoa! That's the most beautiful thing anyone's ever said to me! But I hardly said anything. I know, but the way you opened your mouth was just so moving. It was like the skies after the storm, like a rainbow sweeping my heart. You're overdoing it. You think? Yes, really. Oh. Dear Buttercup, ever since I met you, I've had three sons in my heart. They shine so brightly that whenever I see you, uh... what is it now? Well, if you don't mind me saying, now it sounds like you're mad at me instead of in love with me. I'm not mad! I'm declaring my love to you! Isn't it obvious? Let's just say it could be more obvious. All right, since you're so good at this, show me how it's done. I'll be you and you be me. Come on! Dear Buttercup, ever since I met you, I've had three suns in my heart. They shine so brightly that whenever I see you, they make me melt until the slightest thought is reduced to droplets. Those suns are only three little words, but they're burning my lips. Please soothe me, Buttercup, and tell me that you love me as much as I love you. Wait a minute. Do I sound that corny when I'm saying it? I'm just performing, you know? I'm not here to judge the wording. Oh, man, this is awful. I'll never be able to do this. Boy, you sure like to take the hard road. You put too much pressure on yourself. Of course you'll be able to do it. I know. Let's take a short break. Just air our heads out. Movie? All is not lost yet. More than this to capture this cat. Cataclysm! <laughs> it's over for you, Cat Noir. Nothing's over. You haven't defeated Ladybug yet. Or Rena Rouge. From this point on, Trix, Rena Rouge can never be seen in the light of day. Shadow Moss gotta believe that no one's using the miraculous of the fox. Now that's sly. Slide. Tricks, let's pass.
Marinette, get ready. It's time for the real Ladybug to show up. Mirage! What's happening? Alia has created the illusion of an identical bubble containing an illusion of me. It completely overlaps us. Nobody can see us from the outside now. It's brilliant! Tiki, spots on! Ladybug will never fall into your trap. Shut him up. No one will silence me, Shadow Man. This is wonderful. Since Cat Noir's in love with Ladybug, that means he's in love with you. You and Adrian can finally be together. It's not that simple, Tiki. I'm in love with Adrian, but I've never been in love with Cat Noir. It's as if they're two completely different people. Is the Adrian I'm in love with the fake Adrian? Is Cat Noir the real Adrian? Who's the real Adrian behind Adrian? I don't know. Why don't you ask Alia? I can't. She already knows I'm Ladybug. She can never know that Adrian is Cat Noir. It'd be too dangerous. Ugh. When she's ready, she'll tell me who she is. In the meantime, she'll get to know me, and then, who knows? I'm so charm yowing after all. I usually like smelly cheese, but I get the feeling that this is going to turn into some really, really stinky cheese. <laughs> <laughs> who can tell me who wrote, I am a cat? Meow, meow? <laughs> <laughs> or in human language, Natsumi Sosei. He wrote the book, <gasps> I am a cat. Sorry for the joke, Miss Bustier. <laughs> Awkward. I mean, clumsy. <laughs> I'm madly clumsy. Well, don't worry about cat. I mean that. It happens to everyone. Is there a problem? Well, actually, I always travel by stick. I don't have change for a ticket. This one's on me, Cat Noir. You've saved us so many times, it's the least I can do. Thanks. I'm the Yowya one. You're welcome. Oh. Hey, bravo, oh. Cat Noir, bravo! Thank you, Cat Noir. <laughs> Thank you. What movies are playing? Mm, little love notes. We're trying to think of something else, so no romantic comedies. Captain Supreme, The Ultimate Duel? Could we possibly avoid films about superheroes? Got it. What about Shark Tank versus Mecha Tiger? With a title like that, I think we should be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Shark Tank, don't die. I've always loved you. Me too, Mecha Tiger. But it's impossible. We're sworn enemies. But they don't even have mouths. How are they supposed to kiss? Ooh. Uh, it's been written in advance, so everything's planned out. But in real life, you have no idea how it's going to go. Just because you tell someone you love them doesn't mean the other will love you back just like that. Tell me about it. If only life could be so easy. That's why it's so scary to tell someone you love them. Even saving the world seems easy compared to it. Well, I suppose it is. I mean, just look at you. When you have to save the world with Ladybug, you just bulldoze ahead. You don't think about it. A couple of jokes and bam, cataclysm, lucky charm, miraculous Ladybug, and everything's back to normal. Easy as pie. Yeah, that's the short version, but it sounds about right. But telling someone you love them? If it doesn't work out, it's your heart that gets cataclysmed. And no miraculous Ladybug mm -hmm. can repair that. That's why I never get anywhere with boys. When things are really important to me, I get so scared that it won't work out that I can't help trying to control every possible outcome. I tell myself stories with wedding dresses and hamsters, and what people see is not Marinette opening her heart up. It's Marinette talking about some ridiculous nonsense she's made up. I like hamsters too. And I'd like to watch the movie in peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an umbrella option in your stick? Well, yeah. Cats don't like water. It's funny, you know. I'm kind of the opposite of you. I know that Ladybug's not in love with me, but I can't help telling her how I feel. I wish I could fall in love with someone else, but I can't. She's just so incredible. I'm so afraid I'm not the good person I thought I was. And that now I've gone too far and she hates me. She doesn't hate you. She threw me in the trash today. You're a good cat. I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. But it can't be! Ladybug and Cat Noir are supposed to be made for each other! I've lost my connection with my ice cream! I don't understand what it's trying to tell me anymore! Akumatization is like ice cream. Once you've tasted it, you always come back for more. Fly away, my evil Akuma, and bring me back two scoops of despair!
Thanks for flying Cat Noir Airways. We hope you'll be flying again soon. <laughs> Thanks. That was nice. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait! You're training! Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Quick, back into position. You can totally do it this time. I just know it. Mm. Dear... Ladybug and Cat Noir are the ones who should be in love, not you two! My ice cream never lies! Again? No, no, no. We're not in love. It was just practice. <laughs> Stay here. 